Hello everybody. Now, I've just spent three, possibly four hours of my life just watching the Game of the Year awards. Holy shit, was that an absolute farce. Oh my god, you drag yourself through it. You're not really watching it half the time, you're kind of watching it. And don't get me wrong, there were some good announcements. Uh, Naughty Dog are going to space. Uh, hopefully they bring out something uh, good and show that they're not just a one-trick pony. Uh, it was called Intergalactic something or other. Um, I'm quite excited, but also, honestly, I don't care. The trailer for me didn't really say anything. It's got some cool ac actors in it. It's got that fucking really bad guy from um, Saul Goodman. What's it called? Better Call Saul. I am kind of excited for that, but I kind of just want The Last of Us 3. I just want to know how that shit ends. Uh, the Witcher 4, now that was announced. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll be honest, though, I really wanted The Witcher 4 just to go in a completely new direction, a completely new set of characters in a completely different school of The Witcher. I I love Siri. I love Geralt. Of course I do. But I just thought maybe why don't we, you know, I'd love like a cyberpunk, make your own character, make your own Witcher, create your own story. That sort of thing would have been sick. But again, if they want to, you know, continue down the path of Siri and Geralt for three more games, then whatever. Who the fuck am I? Elden Ring co-op mode. I don't care. Uh, I mean, Elden Ring is a game I beat the first boss on. I spent full price on it when it first came out. I just fucking gave up. I'm shit at them. I honestly hate my life when I play them games. But people love them, and a co-op version of that is, exact, is exactly what people wanted. So I'm happy for you if you enjoy getting pissed off. Uh, now into some of the... Oh, Dying Light, The Beast. I'm excited for this. I really like Dying Light 2. The story's naff, I get that. But you're not playing Dying Light for the story, bro. You're, you're playing Dying Light because you want to run around, drop kick zombies and sneak around, shoot bows and arrows, shit like that. Like, you're playing it for a specific reason, you know? You're not really playing it for, like, a 10 out of 10 story, Game of Thrones, the last... You know, it's not like that. It's not that type of game. And if you're playing it for that, then that's on you. Uh, now, let me just go into some of the winners. So, Astrobot won Game of the Year. Now, I'll be honest, I think this brings us to kind of, like, the, the Game of the Year contenders was pretty poor. I mean, Astrobot, Bellatro, don't even know what that is. Black Myth, Wukong, I really enjoyed that game. I... I need to finish it, to be fair. I've, I've put about 10 hours into it. Elden Ring, DLC. DLC can't be game of the fucking year. Unless it's me last year with Cyberpunk 2077 and whatever their DLC was called. But I included it as a whole game because it was 2.0. It was official new game. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not a hypocrite. Final Fantasy VII, never played. And Metaphor, re Fantasizo. What the fuck is that? Uh, some weird anime shit that I don't care nor want to get into. But yeah, Astro Bot won loads of awards. To me, I haven't played Astro Bot. Um, it's a kid's game that looks like it's fun for a couple hours and then I won't play it again. So I'm not going to buy it. Um, Helldivers 2 won a couple of awards. I do like Helldivers 2. I've not played it since it came out though, but it was a lot of fun and they look like there's a new game mode coming out. That Metaphor game won a few though, to be fair. So who am I to judge? I just don't like sort of like weird games. Hellblade 2. Best performance, Melina, she won. Well done. I haven't played Hellblade 2, but I played Hellblade 1, and it was good. Uh, Silent Hill, though, that didn't win. I really want to play that. I've not played it. I've not even played the original, so what sort of a scumbag am I, boy? Whatever piece of shit I am. Um, but yeah, uh, best film adaptation or TV adaptation was Fallout, which was nice. I think Fallout TV show was really good. I've actually watched it twice because the first time I couldn't remember anything that went on. I think it was really good. I think Ella Purnell's great. They're off to New Vegas, baby. Yeah. The best Fallout game, without matter of a fact, is Fallout New Vegas. Um, you know, the best Bethesda, I always say this like a dickhead just because I'm trying to wind people up. The best Bethesda game wasn't even made by Bethesda. Fallout New Vegas. You know what I mean? I love that. Speaking of Outer Worlds 2, man, I'm looking forward to that. Outer Worlds 2, 1, I thought was a decent game. Not amazing, didn't blow anything out of the park, but had some good ideas and initial concepts. And now they have time, they've worked on it for years and years and years to, to bring out a new one and hopefully right the wrongs of the previous one. And if they can get anything as good as and exciting as, and as fun as Fallout New Vegas, then they can take my money right now, baby, because I love them type of games. I don't know what else there is. Most anticipated game, GTA 6, which is probably never coming out. I mean, when they when I was watching that and they came out, I was like, no one, no one can compete with GTA 6. I mean, this is either going to be the greatest game ever or the biggest flop ever. Content creator, Queso, congratulations to him. He's funny, um, or at least the clips are on Twitter. I don't watch him live just because I'm not really, I don't really do that too much. Best, best fighting, Tekken 8. Well, well. How cool is that? Oh, there was a really nice moment where Amir Satvat, um, 
apologies, won a beautiful award. Obviously, a lot of people have lost their jobs and uh, looking for work. He created this sort of program or website, I'm not too sure what it was, where they can go on and find work and it helps programmers and people who work in the video game industry found design. And he got a special award specifically for him and it was a really nice moment. <gasps> Mafia, the old country, bro. I'm looking forward to that. That looks cool, cool, cool. I love Mafia 1 and 2. Mafia 3, I played for two minutes on like Game Pass and deleted it. Like it's dog shit. Don't play it. It's an embarrassment. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for Mafia the Old Country. There was a game with Jesse Pinkman in it, Aaron Paul, and fucking the bitch who killed Joel. What's she called? Laura Bailey. I still don't forgive you, motherfucker. Uh, they're in a game together. There was another multiplayer game called Split Faction or Split Fiction. Fiction. Not for me, boys. But yeah, the Outer Worlds. I'm really looking forward to that. That was got to be the the uh, the funniest, the funniest trailer I've seen in a very long time. But I think that's all I'm going to share. Borderlands 4 looks cool. I actually enjoyed Borderlands 3. I know some people didn't. Mate, when you play Borderlands and you don't pay full price, what are you expecting? Just to run around, shoot some people, and have a bit of a laugh. That's exactly what I got from Borderlands 3. You know, if you're if you're in it for a story about loss and uh, something that's going to make you keep you up at night then i'm sorry you're you're fucking in the wrong shit dog but that's all i'm going to talk about i think game of the year this year was pretty dull i don't think there were that many great games overall indiana jones and the great circle that should have been came out earlier i know it can't because you don't want to rush games and i'm glad it didn't because it's come out perfectly stalker 2 where the fuck was that I finally got it working on my computer and it's amazing. I can't stop playing it. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm playing Stalker 2. Indiana Jones, I need to get into, but I just can't. I'm addicted to fucking being a stalker. I just can't do it. That's what I said, bitch. Clip it and make me arrested. I dare you, motherfucker. I dare you. Thank you so much. Let me know your favorite game and let me know if you thought it was a big waste of time as well. Three hours it went on for. Fucking hell, three hours. It's like when a family member comes over for tea on a Sunday or lunch on a Sunday, and then they're all day, and you're like, I only invited you around for fucking food. I didn't say come and have a cup of tea and watch the fucking six James Bond films while we all fucking digest a digested biscuit. Like, no, come, stay for a few, and I fuck off, mate. Fuck off.